Hello, everyone. I'm Lenora Farrington, the Karate Realtor, committed to the same honesty, integrity, and discipline in both my martial arts practice and my work as an agent. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about cash transactions, why cash is king, how cash transactions work, and how to make the best use of the opportunity. Using cash in real estate transactions is a huge advantage. With two competing offers for the same amount, a cash offer will often trump other offers because the transaction is simpler and faster. That allows you to offer the best terms. Without a lender involved and appraisal isn't required, a third party can't stop the transaction either because they don't approve the house or they don't approve the borrower. Without that third party in their approval process, a two week turnaround from contract to closing is common. It can be even faster if you skip the home inspection, which I never recommend, but it is an option available to you. So how does it work? Of course, no one actually shows up to a closing with a locked briefcase full of $100 bills. What cash really means is a wire transfer of your liquid access, assets from your bank or financial institution to the settlement company on the day of closing instead of that money coming from a lender. When you make your offer in lieu of a pre-approval letter from a lender, sellers will want to see what's called a proof of funds letter from your bank to go along with the offer paperwork, proving you have the means to complete the transaction come closing day. And they have good reason for insisting on that. If they take their home off the market and go through the entire process with you only to fall apart by closing day and have to start all over again, that's beyond a huge inconvenience for the seller. It could affect their ultimate sales price because A, they may have made plans to move that they can't now back out of, and B, buyers watching the house will notice that it went off and back on and 100% assume that the problem must have been inspection and there's something wrong with the house. So how do you get your proof of funds letter? First, make sure all the funds you'll need for the transaction are in the same bank. Then call or step, stop by the bank and let them know you're working towards buying a home with funds that are on hand at their branch. Ask them for an official letter on letterhead or from a bank email address, affirming that you have all the funds necessary. They can send it to you or to forward to your real estate agent or send it to your agent directly with your permission. You can have a new one written for each offer you make that specifically mentions the home address and only the amount of the offer. After all, you don't owe anyone the full dollar amount that you have in the bank, and you don't need to tip your hat about how much you could be offering. Now, that being said, it's a good idea to have one on hand that matches the max amount of your budget just in case. Since the most sought after homes go quickly, the best homes go in 48 hours. They're put up on the market on a Friday to take advantage of weekend traffic, signing papers on Sunday night. Your bank won't be available before it's gone. And you don't want to lose out on your dream home because you weren't prepared. Once your offer is accepted, you can close a cash deal much faster. You can just drop off your earnest money deposit with settlement and go straight to inspection or survey and then skip straight ahead to closing. <laughs> just before closing day, your settlement company will send wiring instructions to forward to your bank and a statement breaking down the cost and giving you the exact dollar amount that you'll need to arrange to have wired. Double check that nothing is off on this statement. Catching a mistake on closing day can postpone the closing. And then arrange the details with your bank. Thank you for tuning in.
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'm Lenora Farrington, the Karate Realtor. Let's get you home.